Hey guys, it's Zipir and welcome to Python tutorial number 17. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at string formatting and the basics of it. Uh, so go ahead and open up the idle. Now Python has what's uh, known as obviously string formatting. Uh, string formatting allows us to have a string but mark it so basically we can print out more than one uh, different type of string depending on what we tell it to, so what values we pass it when we print it out. Okay. So if you want to make a formatted string, you simply type out your string. So let's say um, I'll store mine in a variable because otherwise there's no point in every time typing out a string which has to be a formatted string with the f uh, s conversion types and stuff in the string if it's not being stored because otherwise you might, have w might as well just have typed out uh, the values separately every time. So I'll store my... Um, format string in a variable called string and I'm going to format my string as hello and then you are allowed to uh, in a formatted string specify what are called um, sorry what are called conversion specifiers okay uh, and conversion specifiers basically are just a percent sign and then a certain character depending on what you want to convert the uh, the value you pass the string when you print it out. So if I wanted to convert the value to a string I'd put an S here. If I wanted it to be an integer I would put an I. If I wanted it to be a float an F. Okay so really simple. Um, so in this case I'm gonna have a string uh, so it's gonna be percent %s so now I have my string, but if I print out string, we see it just says hello percent %s. So how do we pass it a value uh, which will fill that percent %s in? Well, really simple. Again, so we have print string, and then we just put a, pr uh, a percent sign after that. So uh, if you're doing this with a literal string, if you had this, or hello percent %s, you'd then do it after the closing quote uh, but in my case I'm using this string variable so you have string and then a percent sign and then you pass it the values so in this case I only have one value so I'll pass it world and there you can see it formats the string to print out hello world and that percent s is not to be seen anywhere and then I could format it differently so it would print out hello asib okay now let's say I want my string now to be hello whoever how was your whichever okay uh, and then a question mark so now my string could be something like for example hello world how was your month or hello world how was your day okay so that's uh, we can vary our string depending on what we pass it, in it what values we pass it when we print it out so uh, now I'm going to type print string and I'll pass it a sib and month. Okay. Wait a minute. Not enough arguments for format string, but I passed it two arguments and there are there are obviously uh, two conversion specifiers here. Uh, so the thing is, when you pass it values, when you pass it more than one value to format with, you need to make it a tuple, i.e., enclose it in. Uh, parentheses okay and if I run that now you can see it says hello sip how was your month and month capitalized because I'm stupid and I capitalize month uh, ch -ch. there we go that's proper now uh, so like I said we could do we can do this with um, uh, sorry we can do this with ch numbers as well so I could say my number is uh, and then I could put percent %i okay and if I save that, if I uh, enter that now I'm going to import uh, pi from the math library we talked about uh, modules already and importing stuff okay um, so I've got pi now and then I could print out the string and pass it the value pi. 
and then it would say my number is three. And the reason it cuts off the end, the decimal uh, decimal places, is because I chose to format it as uh, an integer as opposed to a float. If I format it as a float, as you can see, just give me a sec and print string percent pi. You can see now we get uh, the decimal places. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at pi. So actually there are a whole bunch more numbers than was printed out there. So how do we get more numbers or even less numbers, uh, le sorry, less decimal places or more decimal places? Um, because at the moment we only know how to get either none or how to get one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So how do we get eight or how do we get three, okay? Uh, we can use what um, Python's cool string formatting thing which allows us to specify the precision, okay? So, um, let's go back, we'll have to redefine our string quickly. We can say, my number is, and then we put percent, and then before the conversion type, the conversion type is the character, so there, the conversion type is f for float, okay? Um, so before the conversion type, we put a period to specify, uh, to tell Python that we're specifying the um, the precision, and then we just put a number for precision. So I could put eight, and then we put the conversion type. So percent point period eight f means I'm gonna have a float there, which will have eight decimal places. And if I go, if I now print uh, string with pi, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I redefine this again, I can cut it down so I could say three only now. And then I could print, oops, print string ah, with pi. And I only get three. Uh, and just so you know, this can also be done with um, strings. If you have, oh, I'll just use, I'll just use a literal value because it's easier to do it that way. Uh, if you had something like, let's go back to our first example and then you pass it, uh, or you put a precision of 0.3 uh, and then string of course, the conversion type uh, and then you pass it walled, okay, and run that then you only get war, or war, or however you want to say it uh, because the, the, um, the precision was specified as 3, so we only get 3 characters Okay guys, so uh, that's it for this tutorial on string formatting. Next tutorial, a lot more in depth. Uh, and you know what, I might actually split it up into two tutorials. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, over and out for now.